Well, it's four hours and 52 minutes into the uh, 10th day of Ju June, and I'm slowly coming out of my slump. Uh, that's what caused the uh, the absence on this part of the vlog, this aspect of the vlog. The road vlogs are there, just with uh, usually Wednesdays and Friday. Wednesdays and Fridays are my down days. Sometimes the down days, uh, the sort of the, the the fall off in terms of being able to vlog and having different respect, having different times to vlog. Uh, falls off also throughout the entire weekend. It was Monday, Tuesday. Uh, do a bit of recovery on Wednesday, and then this is where we are now. Anyways, I was uh, I uh, just did a dry shampoo for my hair. Uh, uh, fixed up the uh, water for the next match of cold brew tea. Typically. What you have to do is, it, it, whatever your vat you're going to uh, uh, do the brew in, uh, the cold brew it was, or an ambient room temperature brew, uh, you wash it out in terms of, you rinse it out, you dump out, the, in terms of dumping out the water, you fill it to the top, dump it out again, uh, and then you fill it up to the top again, then you just take a little bit of top, a little bit off the top, and you let it sit for about 24 hours. Let the water that's in there sit for 24 hours. Uh, in the in the process of sitting for 24 hours, the water starts to soften. You'll see, seeing you'll see bubbles emerge from the water, and that is a degassing process. And it makes the water a lot softer in terms of uh, its uh, in terms of its quality. It, 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 it ends up producing a better quality brew than if you could just you know pour the water and then put put the put the ingredients in so you do have to let it sit for a day there is an art to the process it really depends on uh, on what effect you're looking for in terms of the tea not only the flavor this <laughs> this tea isn't necessary for the flavor uh there are ways to sort of fix it up so that the flavor is much better than uh than if you just had it by itself because it does it has it's more along the lines of uh, of durian tea, which has a bit of a stink to it, uh, and it's uh, let's, let's call it an, an acquired taste. Um, but with cocoa powder and in, in, in a shake in, in, in a, or in a smoothie, uh, the uh, the taste isn't noticeable. You can sort of mask it over. Matter of fact, you could you could use it. It does have a benefit as a, as a as you move the, the taste of the tea back into, in, into the background, it actually has some degree of, uh, of, of call benefit to it in terms of adding to the flavor. It just, you don't want that flavor up in the foreground uh, uh, because it does have, it, 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 it's highly sulfurous. It's got a lot of sulfur in it. Uh, but, but one of the effects that I've been noticing is that uh, it grows my hair very well. Uh, I had a bald, bald spot right about back here. That bald spot is now more or less disappearing. It's being covered over. Uh, so, uh, and, and I know in terms of my body, in terms of my muscle tension, I used to have a tenseness around the eyes. I could feel, I could feel a tenseness. I could feel it in the forearm. Uh, but it causes the body, it, it, it creates a sort of a, a, a muscle relaxant feeling. And, and, and I used, I, I had, Still do have it, but it's, it's not there as much before. Uh, my sciatic nervous is, is, is in terms of how it overacts with its uh, overreacts with its uh, uh, myotonic dystrophy. That's the uh, neuromuscular disorder. That's calming down. It, it, it does have an effect. So I am now just about two weeks in with in the tea. I've got another six months to go to sort of determine whether or not this tea is actually working the way it, sh it should be working. So I have an initial or an immediate uh, physiological response. Now the goal is to keep it going and to see whether or not that physiological response maintains itself and how the body adjusts to the new physiological um, realities. So the body, all, the, the chemistry of the body always does adjust. Just about every six to eight months, there's an adjustment to the body, uh, and this is what could often mask itself as the placebo effect 
Uh, is it actually a placebo effect where, you, you know, the psychological effect where it's off within six to eight months? Or is it a chemical change within the body? Because the body does, again, change within that, that same time frame. So uh, this is why you have to let it go for a couple of years to really sort of uh, to see uh, if you're actually past the, uh, the, the placebo effect and you're able to adjust to uh, uh, the the chemistry changes that go on within the body as, itself. So these are the different things you'll be looking for. Uh, for. So anyways, I'm back to uh, uh, for one more uh, vlog on uh, YouTube Stroll. I'm at Family Five Vlogs. Uh, I'll be f catching up here uh, and then going down, not tonight, but uh, tomorrow night I'll be going to... Um, uh, the McNeil family is after that's on the sub that's on the uh, family is a sub path on uh, uh, the family five logs underneath the family five logs and then after that I'll be going over to Clintus because Clintus is back again he had some problems there were some changeovers and uh, so he was down for a bit and now he's back again so uh, I will be going and he was initially he, he, he is, and still is on my uh, primary path my primary YouTube YouTube stuff so YouTube path so uh, the YouTube stroll path. Ugh. You flub things every once in a while, but anyways, uh, then I'll have to do some gaming. That's why I'm doing this now. I'm adding an, an, an extra episode in because I'll be able to do some gaming, uh, and then uh, to bed around. You hope we get to bed around six o'clock in the morning. Right from bed, it's. Uh... 15 hours and 10 minutes, or 3.10 p.m. Uh, yeah, 15 hours and 10 minutes. Mm. Into the uh, 10th day of June, and we are back again. Oh, I don't get much more than, uh, than, um, 3, 4 hours at most at a time, so... Well, I did sleep. Well, I slept heavily. And the tea certainly helps. I didn't get that much sleep. But we do have another package opening. Yay for that. These are going to be a little more exciting. I'm pretty sure that these are the AirPods I've been watching the track. The, 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 I've been watching uh, the tracking number, and it says it should should be here today, and so that's what these should be. So let's uh, take a look at the packaging here. It's in a plain box, nothing special. Good shot here. Taped up well. Of course, it comes with the charging cord. Here is the box. Very, very nice. I'm very happy with that. You can see how shiny it is because you can see this actually you see the screen it. Oh well, here they are. Um I have to push it up put it on the charger of course, so I think I'm going to do that uh now and uh uh head on out to the bathroom uh, before I do about a half hour of gaming and then head on over to my parents' place. So I'll see you on the scooter. Well, I'm taking uh, literally a uh, minutes before the day ends uh, on uh, Jan uh, June 10th. It's uh, oh, uh, 23 hours and 52 minutes into the day. Um, the day continues. Uh, we'll see what happens over the weekend. 
well, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so the next few days, uh, I'm going to be trying something new. Uh, I'm going to have to go to my parents' house at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So we'll see how that ends up working out in terms of adding that into my schedule. And that will get me back into... I do the services in terms of the meditation on a daily basis. I do the liturgy almost every single day. Some days things fall off. Some days are, are, are better. Some days are worse. Uh, but on the whole, it's done. Now I have to add in going back to church, to, to the actual church itself, uh, because they've uh, lifted the restrictions enough that it's the church is fundamentally open. We're not that popular of a church to begin with, so it's uh, not a large congregation, and for the size of church that it is, uh, it's not something that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, well, in terms of, so we're going to get about 110 people, and that's our actual limit. Uh, but typically on a Sunday, we have less than 110 people, so. But I have to be at my parents' house at 7 o'clock in the morning to get my ride into into church, so. That will be the, uh, sort of the next task to add into my schedule, is to do that. And uh, it sort of remains to be seen how that's going to end up working out. So, uh, otherwise, uh, I had a little bit of a dinner now, uh, or lunch. I had dinner with my parents' house, which was my breakfast. Uh, I can smell a skunk outside. <laughs> Skunks are around now. Uh, I'm watching It's Our Life before I go out do some gaming. And then I'm going to have a shake uh, when the. Uh, I come back from gaming. Well, well, less than ten minutes left in the day of the eleventh. Hi, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's eleven. Let me just check and make sure. Oh. Anyways, it's uh, twenty-three hours and fifty-two minutes into the yep yeah, Friday, June eleventh. Uh. Today. Is what we classify as a wipe up day, where my legs have been sort of stripped from underneath me, and uh, uh, down I went, and uh, not a literal fall in the sense of a slip and fall, but uh, uh, in terms of uh, the sleep deprivation. And so now I'm going to sort of sit down and see, figure out how I'm going to recover from this. Uh, and uh, start assessing the damage to, cer to a certain degree. Although things are already looking up, uh, the screen door for the front door is now installed. Uh, the caulking I did on Thursday night uh, into, into Friday uh, is holding up nicely. It's, it's solidifying, uh, providing uh, a, a extra support for the screen door that's in the back there. Uh, in other words, enough, enough work has been accomplished that... Uh, the wipeout, in terms of its overall effectiveness, in terms of uh, what it actually does, uh, is now negligible because I'm able to move move forward enough that I'm able to sort of uh, bounce back rather quickly from a wipeout. So within a day, before it would take me uh, a couple of weeks to bounce back from a wipeout. Now uh, I'm back. Uh, within a day, I've had that major wipeout, and now it's start. Oh, time to start all over again. Just a few hours later, so that's where we are. Uh, <laughs> I will be coming back. I'm getting ready to do the YouTube stroll. I will start at the Yowie vlogs, and then I'll sort of slowly work my way forward from there. Anyways, uh, I'll probably talk to you about midway through that. Uh, probably I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Uh, yeah, it's midnight, and I'm having breakfast at midnight, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, it is uh, four hours and uh, 43 minutes into the 15th day of June, and uh, we're just finishing this segment of the YouTube stroll uh, at the end of uh, uh, the McNeil family um their vlogs. I'm at their place right now, finished up there. 
did enough binge watching, so I'm more or less caught up. Uh, <laughs> it again, once again, we're back into uh, bizarre days, but uh, where the time is kind of shifting again. Ugh. So I'm starting my YouTube store typically around two, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, just getting about two hours into it, and then, then that's the end of it because I just don't have enough energy to keep going. I've already started to fall asleep twice, uh, so that's the cue to go to bed. It's just a lot's been happening, and oh, well, a lot is getting done. I set up a, a new uh, uh, airflow system uh, to keep my place cool, and it's doing a great job at that. So I'm happy for that. My body is rebuilding itself slowly, but uh, uh, as the body rebuilds, this is part of the physiology. Um, The body needs to sleep. It, it, the body repairs itself while it's sleeping, and that does seem to be happening. That, that's that's what's happening. For, well, that's, it does have. I have indications of things I've photographed on um, different parts of my body that have have had issues, and things are growing very well, uh, repairing themselves pretty well. The teas I've been having with. Uh, the the this is what's, what puts me to sleep as well. That some of the teas have um, a natural muscle relaxer in it, and it counteracts the spasms caused by the neuromuscular disorder. And the tightness I used to have in my intestines down at the left hand point there, there was a there was basically what we call a nerve pinch where uh, the nerve had been activated to the point where the uh, a Part of the intestine had closed and stayed closed, and it was a, you felt what was basically a pinch there, uh, and it had made it was very painful because because food had to force its way through as it goes through the bit through through the GI tract, uh, the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, food had to force force its way through that particular opening. Uh, that is no longer there. It's uh, significantly more relaxed. Is there to a slight degree? Um, the sciatic nerve does still act up. The sciatic nerve is from the foot on up, but it's not as bad as before. There is this, again, a, 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 it's a relaxing of the muscles almost throughout the entire body. I even feel it in my eyelids and my eyes, uh, which used to be very tight. I used to have a pressure in my eye. I used to feel a pressure in my eyes. And that has backed off. So, uh, see, pressure in the eye is not good. That's Pressure in the eye is an indication of something that, that could be leading to glaucoma. And that will bring in a, a, its own set of uh, blindness if, if, if it's not uh, dealt with. So the, the aspects of glaucoma have backed off. Um, in other words, there is a number of, of physiological benefits to the teas I'm having now. Uh, that I didn't have before. This is basically the first, actually, a couple of months I've really had these teas, uh, and so we're still. I'm still waiting for uh, the year to pass to see. Well, okay, what's the what, what's the um, month to month uh, uh, perspective on this? So uh, right now things are going well, and uh, I'm happy with the progress. It's just what happens sometimes. The when days get mixed up where I've lost track of time and I don't know what day it is. It's hard to vlog because I don't remember what I don't I don't know where I am in terms of the day. And so it would just say, well why don't you, why don't you vlog uh, uh, you know when you can and you try to do that but the problem is there are there are times in the situation where where, where this is where you get knocked down. Um and that's what happened Friday. I was I went through a not a sleep deprivation crack, but what I refer to as a wipeout, which is significantly worse. You become disoriented in terms of what, what day it is, and it's just a matter of trying to get the essentials done. And sometimes, because there isn't the um, point 
to vlog, the vlogging falls off. Uh, simply because it's not on the on the what called the more basic level of operations. Uh, vlogging is a, maybe a step up from the most basic, and so you have to have the, the points in time like this where I'm sitting down and watching the YouTube stroll. I've ha I've tried vlogging in the other areas, but it just doesn't seem to have the the sort of I haven't gotten the balance right yet in terms of how to s transition from one situation to the next. Uh, once I have that more in place, then I'll be able to start vlogging from uh, a number of different places in terms of uh, whatever is going on at the time it's going on, rather than simply describing uh, what I did during the day. So well, that's, that's kind of it. This is, this is uh, how things go, and this is some of the mechanics. Now, this is some of the what's called the vlog on issues in terms of uh, just the mundane stuff that happens. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you when I see you. And, um, yeah.